Hey guys, I decided that I would also jump on this YouTube video making bandwagon and uh, I tried to shoot my first video yesterday but I decided to do it while I took the dog to the park and I, it was just so hot. I was just sitting there the whole time just sweat pouring down my face and I thought wow it's not a it's not a very good first video. So I decided I'd shoot it again. Uh, problem is I don't really have a lot of free time so uh, shooting it while driving to the gym this morning uh, I say morning but it's 1.30 in the afternoon uh, but considering I work nights this is kind of my morning uh, whenever I decided to do this I figured I'd go ahead and put some questions that I usually get asked to answer and so we'll go through these one at a time. So here we go. The first question is going to be, when did I start losing weight? Uh, this was, well, I've kind of tried to lose weight off and on my whole life. I've yo-yoed several different times. Uh, this last stint, when I went from 250 to 170, well, I say 175 because that was my goal, but I have actually seen 173 a couple times down here. And uh, that would be October of 2013. I decided that I was, I had too many unhealthy habits food wise, and I needed to break that cycle and start eating better and exercising. So I went and I, I signed up with a trainer and I started doing boot camp and, you know, really just kicking my ass trying to get things back under control and uh, I did pretty well within a few months I started to really see some results got down around 220 and felt pretty good about myself and then I kind of did that thing where I would lose a few pounds and then I'd slack and lose a few pounds and then I'd slack and I bounced back and forth for quite a while between 203 and 220 and I just kind of went back and forth and back and forth and whenever I finally got to a point where I was back at 219 after being 203 I said okay I gotta make some changes I'm sick of eating the same chicken and broccoli chicken and rice chicken and spinach I was like I gotta do something different so I started looking into keto uh, keto funny enough I'd actually done one of the previous times before but I didn't know it was called keto my dad had just told me about this thing called the meat diet and you can eat all the meat, eggs, and cheese you wanted, and you'll lose weight. Well, I didn't know anything about counting calories. I didn't know anything about counting carbs, but by God, it worked. I went from 260 to 190. Of course, I had absolutely no like worry about protein or anything like that. I wasn't working out, so I looked like a trash bag of cornflakes, but I was 190 pounds. But even that gets boring after a little while, not knowing anything about nutrition. As soon as I got to 190 and started eating bad, it was over like I just started gaining again and it was at that time that I learned a lot about calories and how important they are for losing weight and then I just kind of said well if I feel like losing weight I can do it and I just put it off put it off and then before you know it I was up to 250 but this last time uh, sorry to digress for a moment there but when I got to that uh, 220 again or 219 or whatever it actually was I, I got on keto and I ketoed all the way down to 175 and that's where I, I currently am uh, let's see what's my next question here I have them all written down okay so I actually just kind of touched on that a little bit in the last question but the next question I have is what is the most important factor of dieting um, a lot of people they say oh my god I couldn't lose weight because I can't eat whatever they want to put in this blank for every meal okay well then don't uh, the most important thing that you need to know is that it's about calories and how you fill those calories is up to you uh, there are some restrictions uh, when it all boils down it comes down to calories if you want to be that guy who lost all his weight eating Twinkies uh, I mean go for it I once lost a lot of weight eating fast food 
even going to like Taco Bell and stuff like that. I wasn't trying to prove anything. I was just literally really, 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 really lazy and didn't want to go to the store, didn't want to cook, didn't want to do anything that wasn't just drive, going through a drive through and eating. Uh, like I said, I had some really bad, uh, I had some really bad food habits that I had to break, and that was one of them. I, I, I was in a drive through every single day. So, during that time, I was like, well, I'm going to lose weight, but I'm going to count calories. So, you know, there's, for just about every fast food place online, there is a calorie count that you can, you can look up. And so it was like, oh, if I want to go to Taco Bell and I want to get a soft taco, that was like, I don't remember if it was 200 or 250 calories, but it was like, that's what I could eat. And I was eating, you know, something like, uh, just a few tacos a day or whatever. And it was, I was hungry all the time, just constantly just starving because even though I was eating my calories, I was eating such nutritional, like nothing. There was nothing nutritional in this food. Uh, I lost weight, but it was the most miserable experience I'd ever done. Uh, that was why whenever I started doing keto, I was like, oh my God, these are foods I really, really like. I'm not eating the chicken and rice and bull crap every single meal. I'm actually really enjoying my food and it's causing me to have uh, low calorie because I'm cutting out carbs and stuff like that. So uh, keto was really perfect for me. It also really suppresses your appetite, uh, which is really good too because uh, being hungry all the time was the worst. It was the worst and I have done it, uh, which is why I refuse to do it again. So I guess really the answer of what's the most important diet, it really there's two factors. It's all about calories. I don't care what you're eating, but it's all about calories. And number two, do not eat foods you don't like. Uh, and ah, let's add number three on there. Do not eat nutritional nothing food for all your meals. Uh, I actually advise you figure out what sort of protein you need at the very least. Everything else, up for debate. Pick your own stuff. Uh, but please get your protein. Second, get your fats and fiber. I guess that's two and three. I don't know. Uh, and three slash four, watch your sodium level just because it can make you bloat and that can be discouraging on the scale. Uh, apparently a lot of my questions are going to bleed into each other because the next question that I get asked all the time is why do you eat keto? And I guess I kind of answered that a little bit in the last question. Um, it, it suppresses your appetite. It... Uh, it's also really good because if you cut, cut out carbs, that's like such a large percentage of most people's calories that you're already going to be cutting your calories down, which is why a lot of people who start keto think they don't have to count calories because one, you lose a ton of water weight right off the bat because water weight lives in carbs um, and, you know, and other places, but primarily in carbs. So if you cut them out, you give the water weight less places to live, you automatically drop 10-ish pounds without thinking too hard about it. Uh, the other th side of it is is that I like keto food. I like food that and, and that's something that should be distinguished. This isn't there is no food is not keto. Uh, there's keto friendly foods, but actually saying that is is not actually accurate. Food can be low carb or it can be a lot of things and it could be keto friendly, but really a keto is just short for the ketones that your body produces when you eat enough low carb. It's not the exact same thing. There is no keto food. There's keto friendly food that can cause your body to go into ketosis. Um, I see that all the time because when I eat brownies, people look at it and go, I don't understand how this is keto food. It's because it's low carb brownies. It's less than a carb each the brownies I eat. So it is friendly for keto. And I've actually just pulled up to the gym so I will do the next question after my workout.